Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Jamaica Politics Uncovered. New subscribers, welcome. Returning subscribers, welcome back. If you have not subscribed, please do so. All right, so guys, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm so glad that you decided to spend your evening here with the JPU family. We have some things to talk about tonight, guys. And I hope that all our friends are here. This is the new platform. Welcome to the new platform. I'm so glad that you guys, you know, still a chat with me, still a walk with the movement. You understand? This is good. So, guys, we have some very important things to talk about this evening because something happened today, and I cannot believe. Well, I'm not so surprised, but you would think that people would change their behavior, right? After all we've seen and after all they've done and after all the people they have hurt, you would think that they would change their behavior since they want to get in the good graces of the people and form a government. So guys, I did an upload not too long ago and I showed you that a woman and her spouse are common law. They both came under attack by this man you're looking at here, named Ian Hales. Ian Hales is supposed to be shadowing uh, water. You know, Jamaica sometimes has an issue with water, uh, water distribution, or people having trouble obtaining water. You know, you know, we have our drought season, and so on and so forth. So it's not uncommon for people to store water, especially within certain parts of Jamaica. So this woman and her husband, they are civilians, private citizens in Jamaica. And Ian Ailes, in his quest for power, found himself on the people's property, recording them recording them and putting their property and their belongings and their business on you and on TikTok or wherever on the social media platform, putting them up and telling Jamaica so they get their water tanks from the government or the MP as if it is ill-gotten when it is not so the man who is accused who ian ailes is accusing of obtaining these water tanks wrongfully or illegally however you want to put it the man is a businessman the man run a car wash so him have to have water and it was not the government or MP. In fact, those, those tanks that you're looking at, I did my investigation and I got the information about those tanks. I'm gonna show you guys the videos, you know. The tank came from a place called Plastic Manufacturer. They, they were made in Jamaica, as a matter of fact, in Chulani rock solid plastics right and there's a difference in the size of the tank even the ones that these gentlemen bought and he showed his receipt right there five hundred and four thousand. the man pay for him tank them same name they pan it purchased march 18 2024 so 
These tanks were made in Trelawney. They were purchased in West Milan. And Ian is just going to go by the man residence, by the man business place. I'm going to make one hear what the man say, you know. The tanks that we're looking at, the ones that the man bought, they're one on they're one thousand one thousand gallon capacity. And the, the tank them or the drum them where the government give to the farmers in the drought a six hundred and fifty gallon. Right? This is the style of politics, guys, that I have been warning about. The same style of politics that endangers people's lives. The same style of politics that caused Melissa to die and they cover it up. They have no regard for life. These are private citizens. You cannot, as a former member of parliament, Ian Ayers was a former member of parliament for Western Hanover. He lost that election by 2,000 votes or somewhere around there. Right? Over a thousand vote. And he cannot go back to that constituency to go fight nobody. He had to lift up from there and go someplace else and he's wreaking the same havoc that caused them to be voted out. They don't know how to be politicians, guys. The, everything that they do must be done reckless and dangerous. For those of you who are just joining the platform for the first time, before I show you those videos, let me tell you something. Over on this platform, guys, you see Jamaica right now? Jamaica is in a state where it needs leadership, okay? Leadership in terms of an opposition that is viable. Jamaica needs a blood transfusion, guys, because you cannot have a country that has one functional political party you have to have two. So our political institution is currently very weak. And it is time now for all Jamaicans, whether you are green, whether you are orange, or whether you are no color at all, we all must understand that we need a blood transfusion and all of the patriotic Jamaicans them within the People's National Party, they better step up. They better step up and take back the party from those who bought it for $10 million. Because Jamaica needs a two-party system to work in the interest of the people. And this is why when it comes on to political tribalism where people's eyes are so closed shut, them can't see the truth. I saw me look on. I don't listen to them, I don't talk to them because we have to be patriotic and we have to be adults. You understand? And this is what this platform is about. Now let me show you what Ian is. Who is, who is after power. I'm going to show you guys what he did. Just a second, guys. Ian Hills here. PNP caretaker, next member of parliament for Western West Milan. I don't like to come on here and discuss them say wickedness can done. Wanna help me count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want to ask the JLP councillor for the Little London Division, Ian Miles, and the Member of Parliament, more or less, Wilson, 
how the car wash across from the Jamaica Labour Party office, the constituency office in Mango Hall in Little London, how the car wash get 10 water tanks. How the car wash get 10 water tanks. I want more or less Wilson and Ian Miles to answer me and tell me how the car wash get 10 water tanks. We have citizens suffering out there. It's not say them put this in 10 labor right house in our 10 labor right yard. It's the car wash we are wash car in front of the labor party office, right beside the labor party office. I have 10 brand spanking new water tank where poor people forget. I want to explain it to me explain it to every citizen of Westmoreland and uh, explain it to the taxpayers of Jamaica. The distribution of this water tanks that is going across Jamaica need to stop. It need to stop. It is rotten from top to bottom. It need to stop. Guys, listen to what the man, this is the man. Ian Hills here. Paint. Wait there. This is him going to another person's property. I just want to show you something real quick. Ian Hills here. PNP caretaker, next member of parliament for Western Westmoreland. I don't like to come on here and discuss things that are. Want to see the stick of them pan a tank there? See the man here? The man at show him receipt and the man at talk how people are threatening him. Right? $504,000 the man take and buy him something them. And put this off for doing business. And people are threatening him and talk one what them are going to do him. Because of Ian Ears reckless behavior. Now see the man wife are come on law here. Talking out. Me need this message to reach you, Mr. Ian Eels. Now you mean to tell me, say, you take your time, turn off of the main road in a manga hall, drive over on my place of business, video the tanks that are on our compound, video the truck, video the car wash, video the house, everything, and I ask JLP how we get them. No, how we get them. How them reach there? You are asked JLP how the tank them reach Deso. No, if you look clear from the tank, then you see Jim and Kelly right funny. Jim is my baby father and I am Kelly. You see Jim and Kelly, you never see JLP right pan it. So all you mean for tell me is say, the member of parliament must tell you how we get through with Jim. Now what kind of chaos this now you carry up now? What kind of propaganda you are spread? My phone is ring off from morning. People are seeing me on the road and tell me, say, them never know say a labor right put the drum them there. Me never know say when all of the politics are going the other day. When everybody up and down a motorcade for a road, maybe every father spend night and day for a road. Not to see me not see him, nor me pick me them, not see him. When he tired and come in, he lie down in the truck. Spend night and day and go up on road, go sell water in a water truck and come back, come buy him tank them to store water because of water shortages. Instead, we sit down and complain about things not going, we get up and I do something. And at this year, we get as a civilian. This man who's supposed to go around, get your, that means that none of your information them for your page and the truth then. All of them video where you do wanna go to places and a video things and that you are trying to clear chaos. Now if you are trying to find a way to come at your colleagues, them if you are trying to come at your fellow politics man them, your, your fellow colleagues them, I care if come to bring them down because that's what we do in politics. We are trying our best to bring down each other. Don't draw civilians in there. Don't draw hardworking people in there. Right now you come here for come tarnish other people's reputation. Oh, this look and buy business now. You coming to spread false rumors. Gone viral. 
how much people are coming underneath it. Some people are saying, I come up with a story. Some people are saying, wickedness. You need to clear the air and make a public apology. You need to make a public apology for the one year. I come clear the air. Hmm. Honestly, all them people are out of order and wicked and have scant regard for human life. Hmm? And the same thing them do with the man that won the funeral one way, you know. Them send out a little bit of blood to come tarnish a man business, say. A tough than own the funeral home. And a tough than give the man contract and one heap of something for come tarnish the people, them. Right? And the M the, the MP, the farmer MP and MP aspirant himself is driving around the constituency where he want to and see the MP and targeting the citizens and the civilians to tarnish them, to set up their lives. This is not the first time they've done this. This is the new style of politics coming out of the People's National Party. How can this be acceptable when you are targeting the citizens of the country to set up them life? Hmm? These people, look here, guys. When me tell you, say them people are psychopaths, you know. Me don't want to not think me are exaggerating, you know. Me not exaggerating, you know, guys. These people, this is their brain. And I will forever, every time they do these things, I'm going to continue to remind you, you know. So Uno are not dealing with seeing people. The executive portion of their brain does not work. Who does that? Hmm? No matter how much a man or a woman want power, you can't take up yourself and go, and go up and sit a trespass. Hmm? If I in America, then call it trespassing. You go up on the people and property uninvited. If you go video and take picture, because you see some tank in there, you're automatically going to assume that the tanks belong to the government or was distributed by the government. You don't ask the people them if I buy them by the tank or if I get them get it. You decide because you see the people in business place they cross from the JLP officers where you say Ian Eels. You decide you're going to put the people up on social media. Re guys, remember I posted a video here recently where Dayton Campbell and four men in a vehicle went and confronted a JLP female counselor at night jump out a vehicle upon the woman her place of business accusing her of getting farm items from Rada and keeping it or something of that nature when there was nothing wrong the woman was doing she was doing her job as a counselor and at night them jump out a vehicle upon the woman and video the woman put the woman on social media no, if the woman husband or a brother them did daddy and do they do you know what me attack and do they do because they feel threatened you know that so fast police come handcuff them this is the danger this we want to see happening guys time after time repeatedly this is the danger of the rise united movement and this is why they can unalive Melissa and cover it up. They're not fit. And let me tell you something. You can pass on a message to them, to anybody over here for them. Ian Ears was recommended for criminal charges by the Integrity Commission last year because of some, <clears throat> some very serious 
Some very serious things where the, where the integrity people them find, right? Uno can go read it up. And he was recommended for charges to the police. Ian Eels used to be a US citizen. And Ian Eels is under radar. Okay? This is the man who wants to go to parliament. This is the man who is targeting, trespassing, and the citizens. I say everybody in Jamaica must get their license for your arm, you know. I that me I tell you, you know, people forget their license for your arm, you know, and protect themselves, you know, in at this time, you know, with the politics looking like this, you know. Me not advocate no violence, you know, but people must protect themselves. You can't, you can't say you're a politician, you're running upon people, you not jump out of the vehicle upon people in a night, women to boot. They have no brakes. They're not fit. Are these people fit and proper to leave Jamaica? I don't think so. I do not believe so. You understand? And to the people I'm not the PNP, we see what go on. Right? I want to know, say, this is very unconventional and dangerous. This type, this style of politics, right? We no better come out now, you know. Because you see, Silvera, and all of who help him, all of who cover for him, try not to see them under the radar. They have nowhere going. May I tell you that? And then my aunt and a radar in a Jamaica, because if Jamaica did make sense, when Ian Eels was recommended for charges last year by the Integrity Commission, he would have been charged. So nobody don't take these people serious in a Jamaica where say them are the vanguards of justice. They are under radar, guys, and they are being investigated. And when I say they are being investigated, from all they make them money, hmm, all of who come ball out in a poor people face say, me don't make my money already. Then can't explain how them properly make them money. All of who they accuse, so they a pedophile. Allah who get recommended for charges. Allah who kill Melissa. And cover it up. Mm hmm Them on the radar. Serious radar. Because guess what? The United States government now deal with them. Then could I get power 99 times after this. The United States government done a rule them out already as a set of criminals. And white color criminals and killers and people who harass citizens and tell life on citizens. So, if you never see the need for rescue the PNP before, you better make sure someone that if you catch it when it a drop because it's about drop or drop, you see, it have a drop to drop, you see. Mm -hmm. We don't think what they get, we're not true. No sins go unpunished, you know. No sins go unpunished. The last straw with them, do I kill Melissa? And I eat her open up every can of worm right now. You understand? Every can of worm I open up on them right now. I tell you no. We get to understand, say, if we're not sure, say, Melissa will get justice in a Jamaica under this circumstance and condition, yeah. The country wants some shampoo. So under the condition, the vanguards of women's rights, human rights, and righteousness, we have to take this out of Jamaica. 
I make people start taking a hard look at this click within the politics. Okay? They were alerted three years ago. They were alerted three years ago. Right? And now there is blood in there now. Blood, blood, blood. Melissa's blood were then clean up. So now it's all coming coming crashing down on them now. Yes. So all of you, all of you know so they in at the right part. They no mix up, they no baga baga. They no crime and no. They no blood pan their hand. They can't step out now. They can't step out now because the party are gonna need somebody to carry it forward. Because they may no way I go. They could have hide a little more. They know no way I go. So where do your bunting come? America. When them say them I go pan diaspora tour. He man him, him concubine or side chick. Then come, this them go up on diaspora tour. And him, I feel leave the tour in a Florida. And could have come past Florida, you know. Him could not come past Florida. Because the U.S. ambassador, Donald Tapia, already briefed all the senators and all the people in Washington, the lawmakers, the legislators. Donald Tapia, not only publicly embarrassed Bunting and exposed them, but he also formally wrote to the Senate in the U.S. about Bunting. And he shared that letter publicly. I keep forgetting to find it for you guys. So the United States is very much aware. And now, they have everything that they need. They have everything that they need now to X off them, them people from half of their list. X them out. There's no diplomatic relationship to be had. There is no diplomatic meeting or conversations to be had. And as you can see, they've been there three years. And the U.S. have had no diplomatic relation with them. Remember me telling you, you know, say the U.S. Embassy in Jamaica said it under Portia's administration that they don't want Mongolian to come back down there because he went down there and said some very nasty things about Portia when he was invited there. And they told the people who arranged the meetings, do not invite this guy back down here. So they already exalt him long time. And they already see them style from long time. How oh, dare you? The first female prime minister of Jamaica, you gone to the embassy because the people them look like you. You gone down there, gone bad mouth and talk nasty about the woman. The people them just X him off. I said they X off bunting there. Donald Tapia X off Bunting. He couldn't come past Florida. He must have to leave. The only somebody who could have come past Florida. Lisa did have to carry Mark Golden and the couple of the rest of them got Washington. No, the rest of them. Peter Bunting could not pass Florida. He no want the Senate to see him. They aren't to him. And more so now. So many know which part them are go, or who are go ever want to have any relationship with them. They're wicked and evil, and they're killers. And cover up these things. Guys, if you're just joining the live, please like the live and please share it with somebody. Set up the people's lives. I have never seen this before. In Jamaica, hardworking people 
country people, humble people. Because Ian Eels couldn't do this all at Kingston, you know. Or Spanish town and them place there, you know. But these people are just humble, hardworking people. The man have him look a car wash there. And Ian Eels is going to go out of his way, oh God, out of his way and breach the people in privacy and their right to conduct their business. So guys, when people are telling us, say, when people are telling us, say, what they do now, they will do even worse if they get into the government. Because at that point, they will have more power. You as a citizen should be looking at this and say, no, these guys are dangerous. Who does that? Nobody but them. They're not politicians, and that's why the people them vote them out. There is a group of people within the politics, guys, that pose a huge threat to all citizens of this country. And they're in the PNP. And the PNP does not have the gall to kick them out. Right? So the people, them all just have to reject them at the polls. That is what's going to need to happen. No matter how much vlogger they have on social media, I carry narrative, I tell lie for Andrew. Right? Remember, I don't come out here as an advocate for Andrew, but sometimes I lie, then tell for him for propaganda. To put them the wicked people there. In the good graces of the people. But in our work. See the people in my come out and vote for nobody. Then turn out the yard. Like COVID. I have never seen this before. Who does that? Who does that? Them are people. Them attract. The worst among us. Jamaica no deserve that. Jamaica need a two party system. Them, they are no politicians, and we cannot be citizens of a country and call ourselves patriotic and who don't want Andrew Owens to get no opposition. Andrew Owens has to have somebody in there, you understand, to be the vanguards of the people. Okay? Let me see what you guys are saying in the comments, and I'll move on to the next topic. I have never seen this, but then me, me tell us the people, them dangerous, man. Them are no politician people. Them just wicked and then don't have no regard for human beings and human life. I just what them want and at any cost, even if it means the cost of other people's lives, that's what they'll do. They will breach everything that is in the interest of the people. That is what they do. Now on to the next topic now. Paula Llewellyn, tomorrow morning is going to learn her fate. As I tell you yesterday, she got a second extension. She got a second extension to remain DPP. And the constitution was changed. For she and the Auditor General stayed here past a certain age. Now, if the court, if the Supreme Court rules against the constitutional amendment, then Paul is going to have to demit office. I don't know what you guys think about it. Do you guys think that there was a breach, guys? I mean, there's a majority, you know? And there's a, there's a minority in there. The PNP said that they never aware, they never get for debate. But then again, them also so them rejected it or whatever. Right? I don't know. I think I think in my view, in everything there should be a term limit. Whether it's prime minister. With our DPP, with our member parliament, me just feel like in everything, there should be a time limit so that other people who, you know, obtain an education to work in these positions or to vie for office, they should be able to do so without having to leave the country. 
because one person wants to be re wants to retire there. You know, I don't think anybody should necessarily retire as prime minister or, or stay in the prime minister position until they retire or in the DPP position. I think other people should get a chance to make a contribution to their country. Okay? That's the way I feel. I don't think so nobody forget get no second extension on them something. Not because you are the top prosecutor in the country. And I understand from Paula's position, she has worked very hard. You know? And there's a thing with ageism where... As you get older, you don't want to be changing jobs after a certain age. I understand all of that. But I think in Paula's job capacity, she had options. For example, she could have probably gone be a judge. You understand? I mean, I kind of feel a way fair still because, you know, everybody wants to... I know people who get very depressed having to change jobs after 60 years old. It's hard. But she has options. Me think that she should have taken that, that option there when she decided to apply for a second extension. Um, I don't know if she applied or if they asked her to stay on. I don't know. But if she stays tomorrow, she'll she'll stay. And, you know, hopefully the office of the DPP will become more, you know, more robust, better. There's always room for improvement. And if she leaves, then I hope to God, as I said earlier in the video, that person that's the person that's going to replace her will come and expect to do a good job. And don't politicize the thing and focus on justice in the interest of the people. You know, sometimes, you know, sometimes me and some people beat down Paula and beat her down about the cases that she bring to the court and whatever. But you see, in a Jamaica, we are a developing country in every sense of the word, including in our justice system. And I will forever say that a prosecutor is going to be as good as the investigative um the police department, I should say, who are doing the investigation. Because where does the prosecutor get her, get to, how does she build her case or how does he build his case? You go by what you are given in the investigation. So when we have a, when we have a solid police, police force, detectives and people who investigate ballistic, forensic, and all these things. When we have a, a well-rounded police force and investigators, then we should have better and more prosecution because for a country like Jamaica, I'm showing you the crime numbers them all the while. For the crime, for the, for the number of crime, and for the crime statistic where we suffer from in Jamaica, you know say. We have a very low prosecution rate in Jamaica. Jamaica has one of the highest crime rates, you know, guys. In the world, you know. And we're not at war. But we have the lowest prosecution rate. Make it make sense. We have the lowest prosecution rate. So this no makes no sense at all. And sometimes we'll, sometime we'll bring some of the biggest cases them go to court. And when you look at be a gunman, I get off. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. The, the way we investigate these things in Jamaica. So, you know, I don't have no uh, no, re no ass in that race, you know. It is what it is. We just want to make sure, say, who's to ever come there. You know, if she leaves or if she stays, we just want to see, you know, the, the, the justice, the justice, um, justice arm of the country I work for the people. Them. Yeah. Uh, everybody equal under the law. 
whether them a politician, whether them a bad man and gang leader, whether them black, whether them brown, whether them white, whether them come from affluence, whether them poor, whether them middle class, whether them male, whether them female, everybody must be treated equally under the law. And we cannot have a system where people are get charged and at 10 years, 15 years later, they're going to go on trial. That means that they can just take their visa and their passport and leave the country and come back in. You know? So as we talk about and focus on development, we are to focus on developing our justice system too. Very important. I want to hear what Miss Curtis said yesterday. Yesterday, Miss Curtis said, Juliet Ones come to her and say, How are you feeling, ma'am? How are you feeling, Mrs. Curtis? She said, Ma'am, how you expect me to feel? How would you be feeling? You know? So, me, you say, Miss Curtis, did I seek an extension? I don't know. All I know is, um, like I told you guys yesterday or the day before, Juliet only supposed to be demoted from the speaker bench and going over to works. We'll see how she works with other people. We shall see, you know. I don't like the way that she dealt with that thing with it with it with the, the house the house clerk. That not the in. We don't, we, don't, we don't take position and intimidate people and embarrass and humiliate. We don't do that style there. I mean, I like people do them something there. I mean, I like that. Because, you know, so the farmer speaker with the daddy. I found her to be rude the way she speaks to people, the way she shouts at people. I found her, I don't know why these people are like that. I can't remember one speaker. Maybe one can't remember. But I can't remember one speaker where I can't look and say, that speaker there was all right. Treated everybody fairly and treated everybody respectfully. I can't remember one speaker who did that. Yes, yeah, she did get an extension before. She did. But I don't think her extension are you know whether she was seeking another one has anything to do with the way she was treated by Juliet Holness. Juliet Holness was very inappropriate with her. Bully. Or are you gonna reprimand somebody and send it to 62 to, to 62 MPs? They may out of order. Before the woman even said a letter, you're rude. Me a one man say. He made a joke around and him say, a man can only be as great as his wife allows him to be. And it's true. A woman can't be, hey, a woman can't build you up like a king. And she can't bring her right back down. Effortlessly. And this is where this thing is going for Andrew Wallace right now. I was saying the same thing to myself. It seemed like being a bully is a job description for speakers. Can't recall a decent. Like, seriously. Why style? More somebody tell me. Uno remember me. Before Darimple, there was Pernell Charles. Pernell Charles he had his moment where he would shout after people and, you know, go on some way. Or he would, I would notice that he would allow his side to act out sometimes. That's why I feel like, say, so the speaker of the house, they must always be independent, not belong to no party. Too much try. That, that's why tribalism, I destroy Jamaican kind of people. 
tribalism and destroy Jamaica. So my big, so my loudest and biggest blogger them, vlogger them on social media here. Nobody know, nobody not think independent anymore. Nobody not speak independent anymore. They all have an agenda. But you know what? I think Jamaicans have outgrown that and I'm so glad. Because if Jamaicans did have follow some of them, the voter turn out when me see in the local. Me did I look for holy more people come out, you know? Yes, me did I look for holy more people come out. But if the people them they really and truly are listening to the one them out here, where I tell Jamaica say, and you always wicked him, diss him, thief him, diss him that. And Mark Golding is great. They're not, Jamaica people are not listening. They're, Jamaica people not time for that. They know the truth. Juliet is going to crush her husband's. Yeah, I think she is. She's well on her way. She's well on her way. Psycho. So, um, only can look for the announcement that she's she's going to leave off. I mean, I know who they're going to replace her with, but that is the intelligence that I got, guys. The phone lines are open. Let me tell you something over here. Last night, we had a very good time debating right it wasn't that long but it was good okay um over here we said that we're gonna have a debate night we're gonna designate a night for debate and also i got news today that karen cross and jamaica 411 and jpu are gonna do a collaboration Uno been asking for it in the comment said Uno want to see Karen Cross join this platform and talk and Jamaica 411. We're going to do it, all right? We just have to decide on, you know, the format and what day we can do it, right? And I think the best way to do it is, you know, just say where we stand as patriotic Jamaicans. We may not even agree, but that's okay. And then whatever questions you guys have for anybody, you know, we'll just answer it. So I hope that you look, you're looking forward to that and you will come over and participate in that. So about the, the discussion with Liz last night now. I don't feel like saying a labor right for one debate, Liz. Because one of the debate, Liz, say. Let, let's, let's be real. One of the debate, Liz, say, because... Who don't know which part list and already you know? Everybody who tune into this platform. Who don't know say Liz is a PNP. But who don't know say Liz is also not supporting this leadership in the PNP, which she has never done before. Right? Liz has always supported her party and her party's leadership, but there is something fundamentally wrong with this particular leadership. Right, so me don't know why a labor right would I want to debate Liz. Maybe one can tell me, me can't tell them enough to debate her still because and Liz not run for no debate. Liz not run from no debate, but me just say, Why would you want to wear a debate her? Say, a debate her, say, Mark Golden not fit. She know already, she come here on talk here. The way I say, Mark Golden is unfit. So, we are a debate her, say. Want to tell me in a comment? Liz probably over here now. Thursday is the best day for debate. Okay. 411 is not boring. Go ahead. People talk over here, so they want to hear her. And she, she has a different style, you know? And she has her following, you know, like Karen does and, you know, like JPU does. I mean, you're entitled to your opinion, but she's a very analytical person and she's going to do her thing you know with a different style and i appreciate that about her too 
So sometimes sometimes people don't have the we call it now attention span to listen to people who are deeply analytical and Jamaica 411 is deeply analytical. Um, she must have a good pension to retire. We work too hard and don't take time to enjoy life. Needs to go see the world and get out of that stressful job. Uh, you're talking about the, the clerk of the house? Okay, no problem. Play forever. We understand. We hear you. We hear you. We hear you. It's not just about debating, Liz. It's about correcting some of what she presents as facts. Okay, all right. But um, the gentleman who come here last night, Council Liz, Liz has an agenda, and then him, him not far in the debate, him say him have an agenda. So <laughs> the most interesting thing, him accused Liz, say Liz has an agenda. But him admit say yes, me have an agenda too. But Liz, I think Liz explained herself well. I don't think he was accusing Liz of supporting Mark Golding or anything like that. Or just the PNP hierarchy that's there now. You know? I think people are frustrated, guys. I think people are frustrated that Jamaica not have two functional political organizations working together at the same time. You understand? Because the two of them are supposed to want to work in the interest of the people. They may not agree on everything. You understand? But them get them big salary and then this and then that. They're supposed to both work. The opposition, this opposition not working for the people. Right? So this is what the conversation is about. Now my Davis says she like 411. Yeah. Some people are gonna like her style. Some people not gonna like it. That's Electra says she's not boring to me. Okay. Karen, welcome anytime. Um, play forever. You like you like the you like the excitement in you know? it. You like when the stone and the back of my fling, you know. <laughs> Jamaica 411 now fling no stone and buckle. But you make you think, right? You can't bother with that. You want to run up and down in the street and a duck with everybody. You love the excitement, don't it? Liz has wealth of knowledge, but there are times when she says things that is not accurate and she's also biased when it comes to... When it comes to who... I don't make this go on sound here, you know. But guys, if you know, uh, if you know, as I said last night, if you know, uh, if you know, uh, talk to somebody, if two persons want to take the floor and go back and forth on a particular topic or subject, I don't really see nothing wrong with that still. Right? We're not supposed to know each other in the comments by now where somebody can say to another person let me talk about it on the platform you understand because i mean i expect every, everybody for just come and walk on debate list all the while you understand me i say guys no woman now build me up like a king and tear me down back i would have preferred <laughs> dash two pants shirt underpants socks etc in a medulce mania, drop that in the truck and burn tires. Me not wrong, yo. Shoot, they ain't a smarty pitney too. Talk the truth, man. But some man, boy, I mean, I know. Me tell you all the while, you know, say. Some man does weak minded, yeah, man. Or some man. I don't know if them see me know if they see the woman them or see some woman as their mother figure why they feel like say you know a woman must de must emasculate them. I don't believe in that no time at all. A woman must 
must be a woman, right? And let her husband be a man. Don't stand up in the man way when he might work, right? When he might interact with people and do them sitting there. Make the man be a man. Some woman too enough, man. And I the truth. Make the man stop from interfere with the man work and stop from make people dislike the man and turn off from the man. Be there in the background and make the man know say, my wife have my back, you know. Yes. And if I have fear back likewise too. Just make the man know and make him always be assured. And you can show him that when, when him there warm, or even, you know, however you want to express that in your relationship, but don't be in the same space and the man face all the while and make people a diss you. And then I put the man in a position where the man have to diff. Look here, man. Come on for that topic here, yeah. Come on, you know people fool so. Variety is the spice of life. People make the world go wrong. <laughs> True. <laughs> who you want to be it, Tell me who you want to be it. Mava, I want you to debate somebody. I'm going to sit Mava past somebody over here. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Jamaica 411 do proper investigation. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. She will take her time and she will go through everything with a fine tooth comb. I don't mind people like that. Yes, I don't mind people like that. But like my friend here, um, him like him like the excitement. Him, him, him is a, a thrill seeker, you know. And certain people bring the thrill for him. So we understand that fully. For those of you who are just joining, please give the live a thumbs up. Guys, please give the live a thumbs up. We reach almost a thousand subscribers over here already, guys. We we'll just start over a year, days ago, and to be honest with you guys, me just want to make sure so I want to get quality content. Me not really watch too much face. You understand? But make sure say this is an information page. There is no other social media page out here. Good night, Jamaica female farmer. There is no Jamaica um politics page out here. Who are bring on the content like what this page give on. Everybody has come out here who take on this politics, um, this politics discussion or discourse. You are going to see them just beating down and bashing down one person when the truth and the reality of our politics in Jamaica is that there's only one party that is functioning. And that is the government's party. And that is just the truth. So if you call yourself a patriotic Jamaican, you can't want to protest against the government, but you cannot look at the opposition and say, but wait, this can't run country. This is not presenting itself as a government in waiting. And that's why when I hear um, there was a protest recently with some diaspora people, I don't look at them, you know. Because what are they coming to do? Protest against unjoinness? I'm not saying don't. If you feel like you need to protest against unjoinness, by all means do so. But what are you saying by ignoring the fact that there is no viable opposition in the country? You can do both. You can protest against unjoinness and look at the opposition and say, oh, it doesn't make sense neither. And more and more people are understanding that. Look at the voter turnout. Look at the voter turnout. Good night, Richard. Good night, Mr. Rich. You know, I forgot to ask my cousin today if she, if she know you. Because that is a very um, uncommon name. Mm-hmm. Most of them are paid vloggers. That's some here, brother. Some here. 
Make a call list. For those of you who are just joining before a call list. Those of you who are just joining. The highlight of this program tonight and the highlight of Jamaica today. Highlight of Jamaica today is this man named Ian Hills who lost his seat in 2020 by over a thousand votes. Cannot go back to where they voted him out. And he is out there antagonizing the citizens and civilians of the country, telling lies on them going to their place of business and taking pictures of their place of business and putting it on social media. Ian Ailes is the man with the blue plaid shirt who the Integrity Commission told the police to investigate him for some property business, some property breaches or, or you know, some criminal stuff with some property business, right? And I was saying that he targeted his family in Westmoreland. If you're just joining, I'm just going to briefly tell you that he targeted this family. This man owns a car wash and the man buy him, buy him heap a tank them for running business. And he and Eels got here. A video the man thing I put it out. Pan the people in property, you know. And I say, a labor rights give them the tank them. Jesus Christ. Me I felt. Yeah, boy, me I tell you, you know. When I pray for Jamaica, you know. Cause me tell you, you know, I already say more people are dead, you know. These people at the PNP is gonna cause more people to dead. When you see what mm, they make Paul well baby and her mother dead. And Melissa. They might cause more people for dead because of their reckless behavior. Who ever see this yet? In the party? Or in any party? People are dead left, right, and center. It's these wicked people. More people are dead because they might get more and more depraved. And this is why the U.S. State Department and Justice Department and every law enforcement agency that interacts with Jamaica they have to be alerted because Jamaica cannot manage this. Jamaica um, justice and legal system cannot manage this, this level of wickedness coming from out of the politics. See, the man, baby, mother, come out, I cry, out, cry out for justice. I say, how could you do that as a politician? I'm going to play the video at the end of it, guys, for those of you who are just joining. See, the man come out with him receipt. Four or five hundred and four thousand in pay for him tank them and he and he is gonna put the man business and him. Yeah, and the same thing them do to the man from, from, from the funeral home with him. Me talk to the man, you know. I truly never want to come out here, contact certain things. You understand? But I talk to the man. The man were, be, were responsible for building the first airplane in a Jamaica with drive power road, right. And them send out them blogger for come talk, say, ah, uh, the health minister, Christopher Tufton, own the man funeral home and give the man this and give the man that. And the man and his wife are on them business, right? The man even said was going to consult a lawyer. The man was frightened and shocked. Who are these people and why are they doing this to ruin my reputation and my business? It's the same thing they're doing here. Targeting citizens and the government and the law enforcement agencies in Jamaica. They need to speak out against this because I tell you no, these people are going to cause more people to dead. They're not supposed to be doing that. If Ian Ailes did this in America, the first thing, the first thing, him trespass on the people and property. That is the first thing. And then him accused them wrongfully. 
saying that a JLP and the, the MP give them how much tank for wash car, Jesus Father. So what he's doing in a Jamaica, he could not get away with it in America or anywhere else in the world. And this is where a lot of people, when they leave Jamaica, because of how people can violate you and justice is always delayed and denied, them just don't bother because they don't want to come to Jamaica and end up going to prison. Them always pick on the law-abiding people because as I tell you before, he and he else could have got jungle go do this. He could have got Tival, he could have got Rima, he could have got Spanish Town, he could have got Flanka go do this. Me and only know that. But they pick on the hardworking people them in the country who them know not going to do them anything. So this is the this is this is the way that the man defending himself, right? Thank God for social media. He can use social media and rebut and defend himself. Out of order this. This is what the politics come down to. Them get so desperate and depraved, them start to target citizens and mix them up in a them dirty style and then dirty iniquity works. Very dangerous style of politics, guys. This should never be accepted. And this certainly should not. Come and leave no government. They voted him out for a reason. And he cannot go back there for a reason. So they're spreading their venom on the people all over the island. When it's not him, it's one when named Dayton Campbell. Them say wickedness can done. Wanna help me count. One, two, three, four. Me need this message to reach you, Mr. Ian Eels. Now you mean to tell me, say, you take your time, turn off of the main road in Amanga Hall, drive over on my place of business, video the tanks that are on our compound, video the truck, video the car wash, video the house, everything, and I ask JLP how we get them. No, how we get them. How them reach there? You are asked JLP how the tank them reach Deso. No, if you look clear from the tank, then you see Jim and Kelly right funny. Jim is my baby father and I am Kelly. You see Jim and Kelly, you never see JLP right pan it. So all you mean for tell me is say, the member of parliament must tell you how we get through with Jim. Now what kind of chaos this now you carry up now? What kind of propaganda you spread? My phone a ring off from man in people that see me a road and tell me, say, them never know say a labor right put the drum them there. Me never know say when all of the politics are going the other day. When everybody up and down a motorcade for a road, me baby father spend night and day for a road. Not to me see me not see him, nor me pick them, not see him. When he tired and come in, he lie down in the truck. Spend night and day and go up on road, go sell water in a water truck and come back and buy him tank them to store water because of water shortages. Instead, we sit down and complain about things not going, we get up and I do something. And at this year, we get as a civilian. This man who's supposed to go around, get your, that means that none of your information is on your page and the truth then. All of them video where you do wanna go places and a video things and a time. You are trying to clear chaos. Now if you are trying to find a way to come at your colleagues, them. If you are trying to come at your fellow politics man, them. Your, your fellow colleagues, them. I care if come to bring them down. This can't go Jamaica house people. The people them vote them out for a reason who no do not vote them back in. They show no them pedigree already, right? I don't know what more they need for the for show no. But you know, make sure so not talk to no family member them. Make sure so not talk to no neighbor them and I tell them everything. And I tell them about them and people. They're not good. They don't good. 
They are lying on the funeral, oh man, I know for a fact. That man is coming from far to reach where he is now. Yes. Remember the man. When the man come out, come do the airplane, and him same wife cuss him. Because him take out must be hundred thousand dollars go buy the part them, go buy the plane and sitting. And his wife cuss him. Them time the hundred thousand dollar whole heap of money. Right now I'm around funeral home, hundred thousand dollar monkey money. So yes, a farmer come from and look when do with the hundred thousand. The man is an innovative. He might have a book, he might have a book smart. But you have some people who are very good with their hands. And them brain connect with them and in a way that some have some people who go the biggest um, you know, academic institutions in the world. They cannot match up with them when times they come out to innovation. That man is a very talented man. So what he made a need politician for? Eh? And I can't talk about say tough than own the man funeral home. Tough than own the man funeral home. And the contract where the man have forgot to the public facilities and pick up bodies. It's like, say, the man do something wrong. No, anybody can apply for it. Anybody who runs a funeral home in Jamaica. And he's not the only one. There are other funeral homes who has the contract to collect and keep the remains of uh, people in Jamaica from the public facilities. And you don't have to use them after they've collected the body. When my brother died, they see the people them who pick up my brother. Me, I know them me use. It's not them me use. And all they have to do is release the body to the proper funeral home where you want to use. So the way how they, 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 they manipulate and tell lies on people and defame people. Somebody, me tell you, you know, me say somebody are dead, you know. No, mark me word, you know. Because you see them reckless, them reckless behavior and style of politics, nothing good can come from it. Nothing good can come from it. You know, look what they do inside of the PNP. Never in the history of Jamaica we ever see in a one party how much in people are dead. And I sick the people, them sick and dead. Me show you the video yesterday where Paul will said something. Paul will said that Bunting and his clan from about 2015 or 14, they started to undermine Porsche by laptop, get bloggers. Let me tell you something, guys. Bunting is the first man in a Jamaica to recruit, hire, and give bloggers laptops to go on social media, Facebook, to bring down other politicians. First man to do that in a Jamaica. Little bit of blood them, him used to do it. Remember when laptop first come in? An Apple, an Apple laptop and they sitting there? Yes. He might the first mad if he do it because him said power. Remember, him first was going, uh, him first announced so he was going to challenge Portia. And when him say him not have no traction and the people him are burn him out, him say him not about a challenger. This is all published in the news. So when Paul will said, it's lie them I tell from Peter Phillips. A bunting was the one who was doing all the wickedness silently and quietly and using other people to do it it was him and because paul well made that statement them set up leoda against the other lady and met the, met the girl and her baby end up dead and then they kill melissa and cover it up and say an arisen them a murderer long time people attack it but then Dalios come to a very, a very sad end a year because all of them dirty deeds are now under the radar. All of them dirty deeds.
from the wickedness of them a plan for our phone. And in a social media spaces. Mm -hmm. They are being looked at very hard. You see that girl here? I showed you yesterday. Hmm. They're built on their their whole their whole thing is built on lies. It's like a sinking sun. Build them house on sinking sun. She made them publish in the paper that she was the advisor to Dr. Peter Phillips, which was a lie. Right? She's the female, Delilah. She's the Delilah that they use to help them cause their destruction and set her set her and look a bit of blood them for other people to bring them down that's why they're getting their karma everywhere that they turn is karma they have done so much evil to people that they have caused about 75 to 80 percent of the pnp base to walk away yeah because i know everybody i got giant inequity workers and everybody i do it Especially those of us who grow good, we not going to do that. And we not going to support, and we are going to talk out. How me grow? Me don't know about owning no guys, but how me grow? Me grow for talk out when me see wickedness and evil. You understand? At no point in time, me not going to grow constantly. None of my people, they giant, giant join up with evil and support evil and silent about evil. No. That's not how we are raised. Right? We grow to see the men in our family, respect, show respect, and protect women, and protect the children them, and love the children them, and show them the right way, and be gentle and kind to them. We don't know about wickedness. These guys are not fit and proper to lead a country. They're not. Not one of them. They don't make one. And that's why people like Liz, who support PNP for all long, much decades now, that's why people like Liz will not support them. People like Liz will not support them. I pray against disappointment. I pray against failure. I pray against embarrassment. I pray against oh God Almighty mental disorder. I pray against confusion. I pray against me. And I pray against disgrace, I pray against disappointment, I pray against failure, I pray against embarrassment, I pray against oh God Almighty mental disorder, I pray against confusion, I pray against me, and I pray against disgrace. I pray against disappointment. I pray against failure. I pray against embarrassment. I pray against oh God Almighty mental disorder. I pray against God. You see, guys, when the pastor pray over them, I want it to come together for me now. When the pastor pray over them, the pastor want to hear right here. So don't have Clarendon. This pastor pray over them last year. The prayer they want to hear the pastor yeah, pray. Him did have him hand pan Mark Golden head when he ma pray. The prayer yeah. Have him hand pan them. Pan the platform. And them call the pastor for come praying. And blah, 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 blah. This is the prayer the pastor pray for them, you know. Right? When the pastor say pray against mental disorder. No most mental disorder make Ian Eels go down a uh, Westmoreland. Go in at the people them property, go video and take the people them business that put out there for people go kill them so they might get political fever. No most mental disorder make them sit there. Um, Wanna tell the truth? 
What he and ears do is not normal behavior, guys. You understand me? When time them go on alive, a beautiful woman like Melissa, eh? What Melissa could have done for them to gun her down so viciously? The most mental disorder, guys. Only talk the truth. The pastor know what he is talking about. When time Mark Golden, I go read one speech in a parliament, which is not a budget speech, and him here say a budget him for come with, and him make them write that speech and give it to him, and him have Julian Robinson in there, I run out demand them from out of the parliament. And Julia no realize that if nobody not in there, if you listen to them, they have to come out there too. No mental disorder, guys. And Mark Golden have to go to the roadside. Me never see this yet in a history. You start budget speech and you have to come out and go to the roadside. Go finish, read it, because you not tell the man them, but come out, get out. And when the count is done, you know, don't have enough people in there, so you have to come out too. And you could have finished. No most mental disorder, guys. When Dayton and Campbell are going to lose his seat, and come say, he's a general secretary, can't go back to him constituency. Karen say my nasty man. And him go up on every platform. I do all sorts of things. I call people murderer. Daryl Vaz turn on a swim after him. I sue people. Him say my sue people for defame him. Right? And when you take a start, Daryl Vaz drop a lawsuit on him because he call him murderer and kind of something. No most mental disorder, man. So when the pastor see them and pick up their aura, and when the pastor pick up say them are iniquity workers, but him no want to tell them, you know, him does use prayer. And him talk everything. And I pray against disgrace. I pray against disappointment. I pray against failure. I pray against embarrassment. I pray against oh God Almighty mental disorder. I pray against confusion. I pray against me. Them sick man. At the end of the day, we no business about them. We business about Jamaica, and we are trying to educate the people. The man tell them, say, listen, this 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 no makes sense. You understand? You better Andrew only stand there and the people in the opposition, them need to fix up themselves or we need a new, a new second party in a Jamaica. And that it come down to. We don't agree with that, guys. We always say Jamaica would have never elect one third party. But, you know, while that is true, I think if Jamaica wasn't going to do that any other time, I think no is ripe for the emerging, the emerging of a new political party in Jamaica. Because the, 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 the PNP, they, I, I don't think that there's anybody that, I mean, like seriously, what what are they? they? They have no political identity. They don't stand for anything. These are just some people who are pushed out a man because I'm brown. I'm brown. I don't know if I'm brown. I don't know. Because I'm telling them I have money. No substance, no day. The whole of them compromise. 
blood upon their shoulder upon their hand and all them something there. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Mm -mm. Yeah. I'm just hoping that you see the people them um the people them down in a people them down in a Westmoreland where they come put out them business place and tell life on them. I am just hoping that the people them report the matter to the police. So that's if anybody come and attack them. And hopefully they will live through it. That they can have a solid civil suit against these people. The woman came on and she explained herself very well. And she pretty much summed it up pretty well because who feels it knows it, right? And what they did was wrong. And she says their politics, them come there a play at the expense of her life and her husband and her children, them life and them livelihood. So she explained herself well. Now, if Jamaica did have good journalism, they would have gone down there or talk with that woman and her husband. And bring the matter up on TV. And some of the vloggers them out there, they're not going to bring it this way. They're not going to go out there and say, I lie the woman I tell, and I lie the husband I tell, and, and further implicate and endanger the people them lives. That's what they're going to say. All who there Jamaica, is there a drought? Let me call this and see. If there's a drought going on. Come here, some of them have said there's no drought. Me don't know which me don't know where them there. If they don't know say Jamaica drought central in the Caribbean region. Are, are, what am I trying to say? The government create drought? You are see now go on with nothing. From the lock up Joseph Patterson is like it went downhill from there. And them them not really me not see them, me not see them as formidable at all. Yeah, they're corrupt, the journalists. Liz. Liz? Yes, you can hear me. Yes, good night. Good night. There's a drought, right? I see um Electro said there's a drought. There's a drought in Jamaica. Serious drought. When last rainfall? Today. Oh, no get to Korean today. Okay. Alright, yes. because yes. me here yesterday, um the people them were up they tank them you know. For example, um for example the man. And him wife will have the car wash them have the EPA tank them. Right? I may hear some people are talking about there is no drought is lie. Some people don't live in Jamaica, um, you know? So they don't know nothing about the climate of Jamaica, you know? They um we have been sitting water like from sometimes four AM in the morning, seven AM until mine don't come back. Oh, I've been this year, I don't come back yet. Turn on. That's not been so what are they trying to say is the government is creating the drought online to you people is does that make sense to you uh, uh, no man um good night everybody no man that's ridiculous uh, that is somebody people saying things that isn't back to us. um there is a serious drought crisis situation in terms of the water mm. and um the government has instituted because it is harsh Harsh, harsh, harsh dryness. Mm -hmm. Um, and the, 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 the farmers are losing massively. Um, most of the, uh, all their products, but the drought is serious. The drought is on, it's very, it's harsh, very, very harsh. Water restriction has been going for two weeks now, but it's terrible. We got a slight, just a barely, barely, baby. First of all, thanks to God. I'm not being the, uh, I'm grateful, I think, but we got to. That are slight great this evening. Oh, uh, so well on there. What part of Jamaica is the drought in? Is the drought affecting all, the entire all island? Of, all of all of Jamaica. All of Jamaica. All of Jamaica. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
because it is alleged that some people are saying that some parts of Jamaica is not undergoing the drought. Well, I don't know what way that so, so it look like the rain are falling some part and rain shower down some places and the rest of the place them don't. I can't remember what the damn fool she say, oh man. <laughs> That not makes yeah, sense. It's, it's, it's not to waste, waste, waste a good program time on, on, on yes. speculation. Mm -hmm. So, maybe I think the government need to educate the public a little more on the water reserves, educate the people on the climate in Jamaica. You understand? I think, you see, this is why, you know, I have been saying that not just Andrew Olness, but any government from this point forward, they need to come with a press secretary to explain these very simple historic things to the people. Yes, we have a history with drought. You know how much people lose their crops a year time because of drought in Jamaica. Drought mash up the economy several times over the decades, you know. So yeah, we have a problem with drought. Um, that is a known fact. Do, yeah, what we need to do... Um, is reignite our the, the education system is in trouble and we need to reignite the very essential topic called civics mm -hmm. and uh, because one of the areas that local government is responsible for is water what mm -hmm. we call domestic water supply in terms of their division mm -hmm. which is a part of local government and so you know we need to be back today return the subject to the school curriculum all over the island mm -hmm. because the there and then you now people would understand how to relate to this period when it happens for example, yes yes the period starts in january first january and therefore uh, everybody must have a tank don't it well, yes, country, uh, with rural farmers, rural people, sorry. I am uh, growing up, you hear your parents, grandparents talk about persons in rural Jamaica, years from the 1930s, mm -hmm. 40s, Menor. build what they call concrete tanks. Mm -hmm. So they have the rainwater. Mm -hmm. They were so smart. Country, rural Jamaicans were very smart. Liz. They have the rainwater. Liz, Liz, me come from a farming family, a Jamaica, in a right. Catholic country. So, you see, from me, a little girl I grew we we'll always yeah. have two tanks in the yard. So, okay. we know, so because of that now, and we have the farming family, we know, so when time drought come, make sure so the tank them always ready to catch water when rain falls. Okay. Because when the drought come, it's a drought. We don't have no other water resource. Or any water right. source. I remember, you know, them the time they we not even did have running water in a pipe in a house and they sitting there neither. No, they live from the tanks. By yeah. the rainwater even the even today, even today in some parts in yeah, you hear the girls say our 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 husband not only have car wash, you know, in chuck water to go certain places. It is still like that in parts of Jamaica. We need to we need to do something about that. But um no, you see, where there's a thing called basics, returning to basics. Those were healthy, healthy practices, you know. And um what you're saying is old, old time sinting come back again. If uh, Pickers Gill when he got the Ministry of Water, which he never thought at the time was a prestigious ministry. He was he had scant respect and regard, but when he got it, he then somebody sat him down and talked to him and said, "Listen, um, this is a very critical ministry. Because the first time now, issue we are going to name somebody in charge of water in the, at the central government level. We're in. Uh, that's why you had the rural Jamaicans building concrete tanks. And up to this day, there are many homes in rural Jamaica mm -hmm. that still have stand, which is an essential part." And especially no, because to be honest, I don't like the black, the material that made these black tanks. I don't like it. Oh. So, you know, one of the things civics, 
civics is, is, is no more than ever is essential to be returned because if civics returned, then people would know that the um building these housing schemes it is best there's a tank um in in an you know a big massive i think it's aluminum build that one in in our uh, uh, with the urban community which i've always seen a tank at the top of jungle mm, I know. Mm. And, you know, right and if um most housing project was built with a tank when the culture of housing was fully developed, started in 1973, then you know, our water wouldn't be this bad when the drought come. Mm -hmm. But there's no pre-planning for and the for the the, the the water situation and the the down scaling from 86 up the mm -hmm. up the parish council. That not these councillors today have no idea <laughs> of the rule no, of sir. the councillors. Me and Phil are finally yeah. when me hear people say no drought no day in a western Jamaica. You know, say the last time I was in Jamaica in a July, the month of July. You know, me got Kingston go spend a couple of days with my family. And a three day, me there Kingston and the water no day, you know. You know, when the water yeah. come, about two o'clock in the morning, me asleep. And me hear water come. You understand? Yeah, and everybody yeah, run out of their house and set water. And we, you know, we're talking about the month of July. You see, that the month of October, when I came home and came back to Jamaica, there are cans and spring, water lock off Sunday. So the drought is a serious thing, you know. Because when they yeah, look man. on it from July, the, the, the hottest month of the year, from July to October. And uh, in a this time here in a Jamaica now, April. You understand? The people in my face yeah, the, water, the water, the job situation has affected uh hotel tourism industry in Westmore and Hanover. Oh it's, it's, it is very serious. One of the things um um Norman Manley in the, in the 1955 to 62 when he found government two terms. Build 54 dams. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, 54 wells in in that period, and those wells have been taken out of of usage. And somebody, I think, is the present president of the Jamaica Agricultural Society, but somebody in the farming community is asking for the resuscitation of those wells. Another thing is that um the the the, the hotel industry mm -hmm. um is now in serious in the western end of the country is facing serious water crisis then they not prepared for that. that they not prepared yeah. for them sitting there no they were not prepared and one of the things that that also is seriously affecting our water supply is the over subscription the over subscription of building housing and the the, the 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 destruction of trees is a is an alarming situation. When it, when from where I live, when I come out my gate and look up on the hills, mm -hmm. the endless rapid rise in housing and to build these magnificent nobody now say people have to live glorious and live big. But the the environmental process there needs to be one of my favorite school subject in high school geography. Again, that relates to, to local government closely. Um, what all those subjects are, are the, the students are playing scan for God. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that need is um, there needs to be a massive educational drive telling persons when you build, do not build your homes in such a way that you keep all the trees within the area of your housing right mm. keep the trees and as quick as they start harvesting the the, the the rainwater because the building dams i mean building tanks concrete tanks is another program that should be launched via the minister of of agriculture mm. all persons in farming should be asked to build a tank or two 
within the areas of your arm, you understand? Mm -hmm. Because persons sit down every day in Kingston, my God, not only is the drought, it's a drought bad, but the heat and it's it's creating a havoc. Every single ant I know in in town here, uh, urban ants, is, is you can be fine. You can find them in the kitchen. Now the kitchen has pipe. Ants don't like water, them say. But the ants are inside the kitchen because them say the ants are good indicators of what is happening with the weather. Mm. And we are here. We are expecting a possible shit anytime now. But well, the and it, and the heat, it's horrific. Somebody just said Jamaica doesn't have a water problem. We have a water storage problem. No, we don't have a water storage problem. We have the greatest amount of water underground. What we have is a organized structure. The elimination of the microdam program was a, was a tragic situation. What we have is a massive organized all government should have organized the distribution of water. For example, kudos to the Maroons for stopping the Chinese from being allowed to go into the cockpit country to mine. I don't know if you what where you're supposed to know what by some of the caves and you hear the water running underground. The, of course, I, Liz, the first the very first protest that happened down there in um so this happened in um Albert Town. Yes, I was at the first protest. I'll come on TV, you know. Yeah, okay. man. Because yes, you're right. When we're there at Jamaica, we got spring, some places where you pass, you didn't even know say water supply they didn't like that. Water spring from everywhere. You can go there, go wash your clothes and do all kind of something. So how oh, no. no? They must come one uh, mind. You're crazy. That wasn't gonna happen. They should have known better. Well, thanks, coolers to all who stopped the Chinese. We got the Chinese. They are investors, yes, and them come, but they are very destructive to nature. To nature, very, very destructive. They said that most of the wells have been contaminated. No, because they have been taken out when the government changed in '62. The Bustamante did not understand the viability mm. and the necessity of those wells. The monadam no good again, though. Me no, you, me no, you too much talk about the monadam anymore. The monadam is still there, but it's uh, it's, it's at what about eighty percent of its total capacity and the Hermitage Dam. We have uh, several small outlets. All right, for example, Saint Thomas has maybe um, half a million um, springs, mm -hmm. right? That's just my estimate. And one of the things, in 1976, Prime Minister Manley, uh, well, them says, with 2020 vision or whatever the same says, Prime Minister Manley asked Willy Branch, the Dublin German is pronounced as like the president of Germany at the time, West Germany, Willy Brandt, and President of Socialist International, to send a group of engineers. I don't know if you, you remember, you're, you're, you're old enough to remember the water at St. Thomas, the Ford in, was heavy with water. And uh, Michael asked Willy Brandt for assistance, and he sent a team of engineers, and they went to the Ford in, in St. Thomas, the Yalas Ford in. And when the Germans saw that they were, you know, they were impressed, they said, whoa. So the idea came up, so it was done to build an hydroelectric dam at that fording. Unfortunately, Jamaican people voted out manly. And from that day ends, Siago initiated this pipe lane to carry the water. And it like, up to now, it can't be completed from 1980. This is why I see the Remember politics. It? Them need fe, if a government is leaving and they may do something good, the next government that's going to come in, whatever is there that is being done that's good, continue with it. It's for the people. It's not for no one-upsmanship and them something there. So, Make it, our our right, style of politics. Yeah, so. No. Yeah. Our water situation again. Raymond Price, in his first budget presentation, 
And everybody who's uh, saying that I talk things that don't, that's something that I'm not acting. The one of the things I love to say, do research. Please, I'm inviting civics, do research. Raymond Price, in his first budget presentation in Parliament, and watch all of it, told the nation that Black River is never dry. The Black River is never dry. 18 million liters, I repeat, 18 million liters of water from the Black River runs to the sea. Young Price, first time MP, asks again for the second time that a hydroelectric dam be built on that river. He was Brown Burke and the whole of them and Bunting and Golden organized with Redman and kick him out of the seat. He won by 4,000 votes. He beat his opponent by four and he was chased out of the seat. This is That's why we can't bother with... Hmm? That's why we can't uh, bother with dirty politics in Jamaica, you know, you see? It's dangerous. Dr. Linville George Bloomfield came on television I saw it, that demonstration. And Dr. Bloomfield said, the greatest amount of rainfall anywhere on the planet Earth falls in East Portland. Again, I'm inviting you to search. The video is there on, in the media houses. He said, it, the greatest amount of rainfall falls in Portland, in specifically East Portland, the constant he was representing at the time. He went to, to, to China in 2014. While he was there, he, one of the things he asked is that a hydroelectric dam be built in East Portland because of the water, the, the amount of water that falls in East Portland. He was hounded by the Burks, Bunting, Golden, Eels, etc., and Andrea Moore. And he was stabbed with six times in his back and died Friday the 1st of February 2019 while having a bath to go to a political function. So this country don't have a water problem. It is the politics mm -hmm. of the day and the ignorance of the persons, it's the personalities. Not no wrong with the politics. It is the ignorance God and the, mm -hmm. of the persons coming to the political arena and the voters must be educated to now start examining, listening to, watching that because local government is vital to this water situation and us battling the drought, the harshness, because the drought is harsh, harsh. These people are not ready to um, focus on national development and the seriousness. No, all they're focused on is to make a gimmick out of the politics, give the people them a rum and a laugh, and expect them to come out and vote. That's it. They really and true. What an insult. The way that they behave is how they view the people. Now, no sense. We come and make them put on chain pan them and take it. Listen, Liz, make we catch up tomorrow here. Thank you for calling. Okay. Yes, right. and I shall I shall be right, everybody. Yes, I shall um take out this piece about the water um, situation and the drought. That's a vital piece of information. Thank you. All right. You're always welcome. Yes. Good night. All right. Yeah, guys. So we're going to kind of wrap it up right here. We know that drought is not unique, but we are to have better preparation for when there is a drought. I think that is what... Um, the conversation should be since we do have a drought problem, you know. So, and exactly what Carmelita is saying about Black River, it's exactly what Liz said about Black River. But, guys, this is Jamaica politics uncovered. Uno see the problem in Jamaica. In the grand scheme of it all, the problem in Jamaica is the politicians who come and occupy the parliament, 
and call themselves representative of the people when they bring nothing substantial to the table, to the life of the country, to the future of the country, they bring nothing. The mediocre style of politics, they, you know, laughing and the foolishness and when are we, when are we going to mature? We have to mature as a country and, and a people, you know, and politically, you know, we have to mature. Otherwise, we have nowhere going. And this is our purpose out here, right? We do want to see a prosperous Jamaica in the real sense of the word, right? We don't want to see a Jamaica where it's only good for the investors, right? And the hoteliers and all these kind of people. I saw a thing on TV recently where a man all the way from Ireland came to Jamaica and he's a top farmer, top farmer. He came to Jamaica and had a hotel business and he is a top farmer now supplying the hotels with food in a Jamaica. How easy is it for your average Jamaican to do that? He didn't come there with a bunch of money either. We have to get these people from out of our politics, guys. They are the ones who are disrupting our path to real development. Right? When it's not sabotaging one another, backstabbing one another, undermining, murder. Guys, what are we doing as Jamaicans? What the hell are we doing? We need to get serious, man. Don't be afraid to tell these people, leave from out our parliament and tell the people them don't vote for them and show the people them what they are. That, in my view, is, you know, the true essence of patriotism. Country first, every time. So we don't, we don't need these people. They are an impediment to progress. They are an impediment to progress and there is no system in Jamaica that is going to hold them fully accountable for their actions. Whether they are thief land, whether they are kill woman, whether they come in a politics and make their friend in a politics give them a sweetheart deal, take away people them assets and board them around bank and then around the bank. Them is just a local entity where poor people assets go and sell off a little and nothing and their house and both them are investment bankers guys them are wicked man a full time for them leave out our politics no don't recycle them no more we've done that too many times even Andrew Owens right now when Andrew Owens leave politics we don't want to see back Andrew Owens in office we don't want to see these guys worse. Where the next generation of politicians them there? Them here. Them here people here. Do enough damage in the country and to the people them already. Do not. Let us not recycle them. You see what they resort to now? You see what they resort to now? Them in a desperation mode that turn upon the citizens of the country. A target them and set up their life. We feel have sense, you know. Who can afford to run will run, you know. But what about those who can't? I know everybody can buy a plane ticket. I said they now go back. I get filed for I said they now go back. You know me know people have visa. But then on a body for stay with a foreign. Some of them have the visa and then they don't have no stable can go visit a foreign. You understand? So those of us who can, you know, say things that people, majority of the people there are afraid to say because they don't want these guys to kill them, who don't stand up and talk, who in the diaspora and so forth. 
show them up, man, because they're not good for the country. God forbid tomorrow, man, in the whole of we have to pack with crap and go back our yard. Eh? We can't go back to this system here. They have it now. And them are people here. You're crazy. I wait here, I tell my daughter, say, I'm going to get her a Jamaican citizenship. She born in America, but I'm going to get her a citizenship. If she want to decide later on, she want to live in a... I want she have a nice, decent, clean country for living in a... I don't want them to dirty people here. Come mash up the country no further. My daughter no warrior like me, you know. She very DNT. So me and the warrior, I have to fight for her. I fight for my family in Jamaica. I allow their age. I want to go back home. Fight. There are people I must lift up. I did that this is come down to you now. Right? Then do enough. So in closing, in closing, I hope that you, you know, learned something here tonight. Um, those of you who have been here with us saying rest in peace to Melissa, who fell victim to these guys. They tried to hide what happened to her and deny her justice. I want to say thank you guys. Thank you guys for helping us to highlight it and highlight them and what they did. Since everybody is afraid of them. Right? And we are said they don't fit. They're not fit and proper. Nowhere else in the world them could have lead nothing. And Jamaica is not the worst place in the world. So we can do better. Right? Now guys, thank you for joining. And make sure that you have yourselves a good night, good evening. Until next time, please give the video a thumbs up. Please share the content and make sure say, you know, take care on yourself until next time. Have a good night.